to the show. I am really enjoying the music at the background. I hope you are enjoying the music at the background. I did tell you earlier that we have an interview today, and uh, it's a very, very special person, um, an upcoming artist, um, a very gospel, good singer. Um, trust me, when you hear his voice, I'm sure you would want to go to heaven this morning. Trust me. He's in the person of TJ Nettie. TJ Nettie, yeah. you are welcome. Oh, thank you. Uh, how is everything going? Everything is going cool. We thank God. We sure. thank God. So, could you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. So, as we all know, JT Nate is a gospel artist and a preacher of the gospel. And he is also... Um, into ministry, yeah. So I think that is all I can say. That is now. all you could tell us. Okay. So you are an, an up, up, upcoming uh, gospel artist, sure. and sure. Um, I think I've heard one or two songs of yours. Yeah. I mean, perhaps some with um, uh, um, Destin. It's it was what your main song. Yeah, that's my main. That's only party. Okay. And yeah. then the second one is a cover. Yeah, it's a cover. It's a cover. It's a cover. Oh, is, um, okay. Um, by, um, at the center of it all. At the center yeah. of it all. I really enjoy that cover. Thank I you. think you should go see the person who made this and sure, can sure, do every sure. on very that. Soon, very soon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, so um, tell us, um, how, how is the music industry going for you oh. as an upcoming artist? Personally, you know, for now, what I can say is that mm -hmm. it is moving smoothly mm -hmm. by the grace of God. Okay. You see, the Bible said that they that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Mm -hmm. And as sons of God, we must be led. If you are led by the Spirit of God, you don't make mistakes. Okay. You understand? Yes. So even though there are ups and downs in the ministry, we are so coping. Yes, because so we have God as our, our, our uncle. Mm -hmm. So we are so coping. But then, you know, um, here in Ghana, um, a lot of gospel artists do complain that they have a lot of challenges, especially when it comes to, you know, the whole industry itself. Uh, have you started facing it, or you are here to face it, or you're already in it? Mm, the little I can say is that challenges are everywhere. And challenges is what make us human. Mm -hmm. Because, um, so to say, um, things cannot face challenges. Okay. It is humans that can face challenges. Mm -hmm. So in the gospel ministry, there are a lot of challenges. You know, as an upcoming artist, people sometimes look down on you. Sometimes they don't really see the good thing in you until you come up. Mm -hmm. You see, I read a, um, a post this morning, and one of my friends posted something, and it was like, when you start, you're starting, nobody comes, or exactly. nobody wants to support. Yes. But they, they, they are eager to enjoy your success. Mm -hmm. And that is the main problem that we are facing in the, the gospel industry now. Okay. You say that you don't be pushed. Mm -hmm. Nobody will push you. Sometimes you even compose a song like this Oni Party. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you, even, you have to beg people to even share. No man sharing, not even money. Oh, okay. The person to share it on his maybe Facebook um, platform or even WhatsApp status, you have to beg the person, I beg you, send it to, I beg you, share it to, and that is, but should our leaders in ministry post something that they don't even know, mm -hmm. they will be sharing it. Okay. And that is the only problem that we are having in the ministry. Okay. Yeah. So this is a little advice you would like to give to people probably, out there? Probably. Okay. So JT Nati has a song out already, sure. and then uh, we would like to hear the song. We'll get it. Uh, we need to hear what the song is all about. It says the song is Oni Party. Oni Party, yeah. Oni Party. Oni Party. I'm Party. sure the song is really nice. Can you please sing a little bit for us and <laughs> let's let's know how oh. it, it goes before we would like our audience to hear you. Oh, okay. So it goes like this. Um, let me see the chorus first. So okay. It, the chorus goes like, Fish when I de cani. Fish when I de cani. Hey, fish when I de cani. Oh, all the dia can be can warm my world. And go like this. Oh, only party, tea, tea. 
Nyamirika sati Oh Onipatie Tie Tie Nyamiritu fuatie Oh Inyasa wani se Oh Wow. Didn't I tell you guys? Didn't I tell you? This is a great artist. Trust me. I hope the Ghanaian industry, gospel Ghana industry, look for JT Nete. Trust me. Very, very, very soon, you're going to hear a lot about him. And you're, you have a really nice voice. Yes, you. you do really have a nice voice. Yes, and in the song, you were talking about um, listening. You said, Tie. Tie. Tie e wadi asem. Na ye tie wadi asem ma. Bibi abe kosa ma ye. That is what you are saying That's in the I song. Yeah. Um, tell us, um, apart from that particular thing, what exactly are you trying to say about the music? The music you just sang. You see, the music I just sang or composed, it is not a new thing, especially mm -hmm. the, 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 the song, the, the words in the song. It was um, spoken of by God himself. Mm -hmm. It was spoken of by Jesus himself. Mm -hmm. It was spoken of by the apostles themselves. Mm -hmm. And it is, it is being spoken now by every genuine man of God. Mm -hmm. And what are they talking or what are they saying? The message is, seek ye first the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and his righteous, and all other things shall be added. Yeah, so that is it. Uh, so you see, the song, the main message of the song is that, mm. So that is it. So basically, that is where the song was taken in, I think, Matthew 6 So that is the main, um, um, main message of the song. Okay, so audience, you heard it. It is Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom Seek of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all its righteousness. Yeah. And everything else will be added unto sure. you. So when you listen to this particular song, you get to know what the Lord is trying to tell us. Let us not rush into some such things to just get whatever we want. JT 90 is telling us, is reminding us actually of what God is saying to us. We need to relax, just, you know, listen to his voice before we do whatever we have to do. So, tell us, before that, I would like to shift a little bit. Tell us about your, your life, your love life. Yes, are you married? Because, yes, of course, a lot of gospel artists um, would want to get married first before, you know, coming up. Some people would want to also, you know, come up a little bit before they get married and everything. Because they think that there will be a rush or it might probably, you know, disturb them sure. with their, um, you know, like their righteous life sure. and everything. So tell me, are you married? Or By the single? grace of God, I am married. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm married with two beautiful daughters. Wow. Yeah. And you see... Um, this is my first time of answering such a question in an interview. So oh. I can see that you have broke my virginity. <laughs> <laughs> of see, course. Yeah, because that is what people want to hear. Mm -hmm. And that is what I have kept from them. You see, I, I didn't keep this from them because uh, maybe I have any bad intention. Okay. But you see, um, I think at the right time, these things will be heard. Or these things uh, will be known. But... Since you have asked me, and now by the grace of God, I am moving from one point to the other. To the other, people must know. Okay. You see, especially the ladies, they mm -hmm. must know because yes. now, they, you know. I hope you understand what I'm exactly. trying to say. Yeah. So the ladies, please, I'm married. <laughs> I'm married. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you do. Have
head. Okay, so the main reason as to why I actually asked you, I wanted to find out how does this conflict with your marriage life? Since there are kids and everything, you do have time. You know, when it comes to music, as an artist, you don't really have time for yourself. Sure. You need to be at the studio sure. sometimes 24 hours sure. a day. You know, you don't go out. How does it conflict with your job, you know, and your marriage? How does it conflict? Oh. You see, as a human, we prioritize everything. Mm -hmm. Let me say something. We have priority for everything. Mm -hmm. And nobody has time. Time is nobody's friend. Okay. Nobody has time on it. We, we came to meet time and we leave time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You, who, as, as, as a human being in general, you must set time or you must set your priorities straight. And when you set anything that is priority to you, you find time for it. Exactly. You understand? So, um, the ministry is a priority to me. Mm -hmm. Married life is a priority to me. So what do I do? I must find time for both. That is what we call time management. Mm -hmm. So you can say that somebody will go to school and will, will learn much about time management. The person will be doing well in that aspect. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the marriage, the person will fail. Okay. So, actually, the time management should... Should, should, should be linked to everything that you do on earth. So I am able to manage this, even though there are some challenges. Definitely there will be challenges. Because I'm, as I'm here now, <laughs> you see, my, my wife is, is always at home. I mean, Tuesdays. Uh, Tuesdays are uh, off days, and I think Sundays. And look at what happened. Sundays, you know, as ministers, is a busy day. Tuesday, you record. Oh, I mean, um, for interviews and other programs and things. Sometimes you come to, and you have to leave the family. So before you are, you, you, you even go out or something, you must make sure that you find time for the family. So that is what I normally do. I manage the time so that uh, one aspect will not have more time than the other because they are all equally um, 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 needed. My ministry is from God. The marriage too is my ministry. I cannot follow one ministry and leave the other. So I, I make sure that I manage the time because okay. they are priorities. <laughs> okay. Oh. That, that is such, I mean, trust me. I am already loving this man here because I, I, I personally think he's going to be one great artist. Amen. And uh, we are hoping that God will see him through. Sure. All this while, so we are still waiting to to watch the video, and then I, I'm sure you are you are so eager to watch the video. <laughs> I, I can tell. And um, so, okay, so at the moment, uh, we don't have the video at time, but we have the audio, so you can actually listen to it. And then when we you, you listen to it, when we come back, we can tell you where you can get a copy of them. Okay, so I, I think that the copies are out. For sure, now. they are out on for now. On digital platforms, that is on YouTube for now and Audio Mac. Audio uh, Mac. Audio okay. Mac and YouTube. YouTube. Uh, yeah. So that is they are they are on that platform. So but we are working mm -hmm. um, very hard so that it will be on all digital platforms. All digital yeah. platforms. Okay. So um, as you heard, it is on Audio Mac and YouTube. So just go straight to YouTube after you hear the audio. Just look out for JT. JT Nati. JT Nati. Yeah. That's all. And then you just, I'm sure when you, when you type JT Nati with this voice, I don't think you're going to get lost. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yes. So just go straight to YouTube. But then we will give you the opportunity to hear it first. Nowhere else but we Bless Entertainment TV. So uh, let's hear the audio. And then you just have to say, I'm getting out of this point. I don't think you're going to get out of this point. So just go straight to you. But then, we'll give you the opportunity. Oh, I'm not going to get out of this point. I'm not going to get out of this point. I 
and everything i think everything is, is is so on point i i i love the song you guys like he said just go to audio mac yeah. and then youtube sure. and get the song you heard it first on we bless entertainment tv and then you have to still go further and listen to more you know because of time we won't be able to play everything for you but then as time goes on we'll keep playing but then you still go to audio mac and youtube yeah. to get the song um, you have really have a nice voice, and I said it earlier. Um, who trained you? Like, who is a mentor? Who do you look up to? Okay, uh, my mentors are many. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I and see. The, um, this is what happened in every stage of my ministry. I I change mentors because when I when I look up to you after some stage, and I'm moving to the next level, I must look up to somebody else. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that I have left you. Yeah. It means that I, have, I am adding more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because um, there's no leader that will want his followers to to be lesser in, uh, than, than him. Mm -hmm. They want uh, his followers to be more than him so that you take the credit. So if I, if one, somebody is my uh, mentor, I think that leader is expecting me to do better than him. Okay. You understand? Okay. So I learn from different dimensions. I think... The first person I can make mention of is my own boss, Joe Metal. Oh, uh, wow. yeah. I look out to Joe Metal. Then Nathaniel Bazi. Mm -hmm. Nathaniel Bazi. Then my man himself, uh, uh, man of God, we call him man of God, uh, OMG. Oh, okay. Yeah, is he uh, uh, MOG. MOG, sorry, MOG. Yeah, I think that is, those are the people that I look out to. Then Travis Green. Oh. Sure. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. No wonder you do have a nice voice. Sure. Because these people he just mentioned do have a nice voice. Sure. So if you have such a, a ment mentors like that, I mean, obviously you do have a nice sure. voice. Sure. I mean, so tell me, is it because of this mentor that you mentioned? That is the reason you decided to go into gospel music? Or there's a particular reason you decided to go into gospel music? Okay. So it is very simple. And this is what happened. When I was giving forth at the age of, I think, um, seven years, I discovered I have this singing gift mm -hmm. or talent. And those times, the songs I was, I, I was, or the songs I could sing those times 
where the gospels are like this, um, Daughters of Glory, Tego Sisters, Jane and Bennings, and other stuff. Mm -hmm. Those times when they are, I mean, if you can remember, um, it is these times that things have changed more. But yeah. those times, Sundays, they'll be playing gospel everywhere. Exactly. And I remember <laughs> I was with my mom in the car, and I, I think we, we, we then uh, resized at Mamplovi. And we checked at the divine. For me, I'm a divineless member. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we we checked at divineless um, at uh, I think um, Jamestown. This is Akotolante. So we were in a car from um, we be Methodist to um, Akotolante, and I or uh, any song that they, they 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 played in the car, I sang. I was able to sing that song throughout. Okay. And somebody gave me. That time, 200, that's 20% 20 now. Percent now. And I was fighting with my mom. <laughs> so I got to know that, um, you know, um, I, I have this this talent. Mm -hmm. But when I went to um, SHS, you know, everything changed because of bad company. So uh, as a matter of fact, after I, I completed SHS, then by the grace of God, I had people to, especially my own papa, okay. Reverend Tovle Snubo. Oh, right. He was able to look, uh, I mean, bring out the gift for me, and it made me to channel that one into the gospel aspect, other than the secular. Mm -hmm. Because those that I was doing secular, oh, I was rapping, pa. <laughs> well, oh yeah, 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 I can do the rap, pa. So, how come it? I mean, why did you end up going to? Because we we all know that you know when it comes to secular music here in Ghana. I mean, I wouldn't just say here in Ghana. I mean, the whole world, world. When it comes to secular music. It's, it goes out fast, you know, <laughs> you get the money fast, 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 you get, you know, the audience, you get the population, you get, you know, everything as fast as it is. So you are telling me that at the age of seven years, that is when you realized that you had this gift in you and you used to sing all the songs sure. during, like, even when you are traveling in a car and everything. And you still everything with all. I mean, you you even mentioned that even back in secondary school, yeah. you backslided a little sure. bit, and that alone should even push you from what God has called you to be. Sure. You get it, and then be with the secular music, knowing that secular music will push you even more faster. But you still start on gospel. Is it? Is it? Is, what is the passion? I want to know. I mean. We do understand that our mentors, people who train us and everything, push us to become what we want to be. Sometimes we feel like our pastors are telling us a whole lot of stuff, um, wanting us to be gospel artists and all this stuff. But then within you, that is not what you want to do. So tell me, what, what is the main passion, the, the main passion behind it? You see, um, let me say this. I, I love the gospel, or I was... I, the first, my first appearance was into gospel music, mm -hmm. and I backslided. Mm -hmm. It means that uh, that taste is still there. Mm -hmm. But what did my pastor do? Mm -hmm. He was able to locate that one, mm -hmm. and he brought that passion up. Okay. And because I am into it already, mm -hmm. I just clicked to it. Oh, okay. You so you had the passion already. Yeah, it is there. So you just... Backslide. Size small, be you know, <laughs> small, be you know, I be, I be understand. I, I so, get that. Small, big okay. <laughs> and then your pastor, oh, okay. So then we, we are thankful to your, uh, your pastor. Reverend to Flos Nubo, the Divine Let's Church, Akutulante Assembly, English oh, Nation. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, so if you are watching us right now, we take acknowledge to you for bringing out such a special voice. Trust me. Um, so, uh, we, we thank you so much for coming on the show. I really love your outfits. Oh, I oh. really, really do love your outfits. Myself, I love my outfits. <laughs> <laughs> I can see. Sure. You really look good in that. You. you really look good in that. So, uh, we thank you so much for coming on the show. Sure. We hope we will see more of you. And then, we can't wait. Me, personally, I can't wait to see the video. Come on. I would love to see the video yeah, and then uh, we can also share it to the audience and then yes, we'll, we'll get to hear more of you. Okay, yeah. so on today's Weepless Entertainment TV, we had an interview with such a sweet voice, JT Nati, and the whole song is all about just listening to God's voice and then do what he asks you to do and everything else 
will be added unto you. Gold, diamond, whatever you need it. Just listen to his voice. That is what JT Nate is telling us today. And I hope you did enjoy the song we played to you. So like he said, just go to Audio Mac and YouTube and get the song. I'm sure very soon the video will be coming out soon. Very smooth, and very then smooth. we can also see the video. We thank you very much for, for being online with us today if i didn't mention earlier my name is vinolia yes and then um today i could see you are seeing me alone um beautifully made yes by the grace of god uh we thank you so much for being here with us we thank everybody from me bless entertainment show we thank you alaska oh my god alaska is always making us look beautiful trust me sometimes we come here with our faces looking basa. You know what basa means. <laughs> but Alaska makes it look so pretty. Trust me. I'm not seeing myself though. But I could tell I really look good today. Alaska, thank you so much for making this interview a success today. And, and also.